by the way, this was Thursday, so only tier three by this point. Nobody had tier four. Quick shot, 26%. Fluid strikes, 70%. Oof. Double cast, 4%. So there you go. <laughs> Hello, it is me, Scout Zone, one of the only YouTubers who have picked the magic relic double cast. And last night, we did unlock the best magic weapon of them all the Sanguinesti Staff. So today we will test it out in various locations while upgrading our gear. One of the bigger upgrades I can get on my magic based account is an imbued heart. And the chance of me getting an imbued heart from the Necreal Superior is 1 in 144 with the boosted drop rate. And from the first superior, we get nothing. Another superior? For nothing. Another superior kill? We got a missed battle stab, we got a unique. And that's another superior for a 52k XP drop. So I've been here for almost one hour now and I just realized we're getting almost 1 mil Slayer XP per hour on leagues by killing Necreals. The thing is I'm not even going for 99 Slayer but I feel like I might get 99 Slayer just based on this grind. And that's another kill, 91 Slayer. We get nothing. And that's another superior kill, 92 Slayer. Loop half key. 93 Slayer. 250 points for killing an Abyssal Demon. I'm gonna try killing some Abyssal Demons. It's a slight higher chance of getting the Imbued Heart from the Superior. The 67k uh, XP drop. But the drops are much worse from the Superior here. 94 Slayer. <gasps> no, we got the Eternal Gem. We got an Eternal Gem. The Eternal Gem has the same drop rate as an Imbued Heart. So I'm so unlucky. Well, I'm lucky, but I'm unlucky. I guess I can make a Slayer Ring. That's gonna be useful. Maybe. <gasps> no way. We just got an Abyssal Dagger. <gasps> what? That's super rare. What the hell? 250 points for an Abyssal Dagger. Alright, thank you. Did they change the design of the Abyssal Dagger? I don't feel like I recognize it. Let's chuck the weapon poison on it. Okay, now I recognize it. Learn to craft your own Slayer Rings with level 75 crafting. We unlock this task. Slayer Ring. Make Eternal. Boom! We can teleport unlimited times to... Where can we go? Defeat 50 superiors for 250 points. Yeah, I went back to the neck reels. It's more chill and relaxing here compared to the Abyssal Demons. 95 Slayer! Four levels to go until 99. And still no imbued heart. 96 Slayer. Dragon Spear. <gasps> no! We got the Dragon Spear. Before we continue with the, the, uh, the Slayer grind, I want to test something out. Okay. He couldn't react. Oh my god. You see that? The Dragon Spear destroys. They have no time to react here. Because of the Dragon Spear special attack, I get a few seconds to actually kill them. But yeah, we're gonna spare the Dragon Spear for another day. Back to Slayer. We just got 97 Slayer. Two levels to go. 50 points for filling up bucket with super compounds. I don't really need whips, but that's my first whip in four hours here. Oh. No, a dust battle staff. I mean, it's a unique item, which we don't want, but I'll take it. A free dust battle staff. I decided to take a short break from Slayer and do some theater of blood. Good luck, fellas. <gasps> it's a purple. It's a purple for me. <gasps> Come on, Justicar, please. We need the Justicar. Come on. No, my fourth of Ernie. Not again. <laughs> No, sad game. All right, I, I died so early on. I don't deserve any loot here. Hope one of these guys gets a purple, please. No. Back to back for the guy who died. All right. <laughs> Good luck. Justicar, please. Yes, we got the Justicar. Look at that, 250 points. I'm so happy with Jessica because I can actually use this uh, for Inferno. Let's be honest here, I'm not the best Inferno player, but with Jessica, it's like a free cape. It's impossible for us to get anything. We got five deaths this TOB. Yep. Oh, ooh. Who, who got it? It sinks. Rapier, ah, oh, sad. He got a rapier, sink got a rapier. <sighs> oh my, my purple again. 
<laughs> My uh, three purples! Three purples in four raids! Come on, Jessica legs! Jessica legs! Jessica legs! Not another Infernic! No! No, I gotta stay. I was gonna leave as well, but I gotta stay for the back to 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 back. We did it! 500 points! We did it! We speed ran the theater of blood! Beautiful! Yes! On 70 kill counts. No purple. Sync for MVP. 98 Slayer. One level to go. If I don't get the imbued heart by the time I get 99 Slayer, I might just pause the grind for the imbued heart and get it later. Another Greater Abyssal Demon. No. No, we got two Abyssal Daggers. No, 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 no. How, how rare is the Abyssal Dagger from Abyssal Demon here? I gotta check this out. And looking at the drop rate here. No. 1 in 32k. We got the 1 in 32k twice, but it's three times the drop rate, so that's 1 in, one in uh, like 10k. So we got the 1 in 10k drop twice in this video. Uh, great, 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 great. This is going to be 99 Slayer have been unsheathed for 250 points. This is actually the first time ever I've received a 99 Slayer in the game. We need some more money, so it's time to sell the Avernic for 1.5 mil, I believe. Yeah, 1.5 mil. The second one is 1.4 mil. All right, I see BA hopping. There we go. 2.9 mil have been obtained. It's pretty much impossible to find a world during peak time, so we talked this man, Six Talks, into a trio. He was doing solos. We talked him into doing a trio with us. So here we go, that's how we gotta find worlds here. That's gonna be the first nightmare back. We only used one prey potion. Are we getting the MVP though against these maxed people? We got the MVP, soul runes. How did I die? Don't tell me I lost my Amulet of the Damned. No, don't tell me I lost my Amulet of the Damned. So apparently I did lose my Amulet of the Damned. You lose it on every single death. This means I will have to manually cast Ice Barrage moving forward until I get myself another Amulet of the Damned. We didn't get the MVP this time. Probably because we had to manually cast and we messed up a lot. I just misclicked Caralanger Teleport. No, I hate manually casting. Okay, yep. Uh, uh, we're, we're getting ourselves uh, the Amulet of the Damned. We're going back there. So, we got seven keys here. Are we gonna be lucky? Nope, nothing. Uh, nope, nothing. No. I don't wanna be here forever again. Yes, we got lucky. We got lucky for once. Hell yeah. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon spear combination! It worked! Alright, I did some skilling. I got 85 fishing and 90 cooking. This is for dark crabs, my best in slot food from the wilderness and my areas. Look at the gear I'm rocking. Anyone could kill me at any time. So apparently I get 250 points for cooking a dark crab. That's 250 points. Hey there, there is a fishing tax in this world. And that's 100 dark crabs caught. We now ha have our best in slot food for what we're about to do later on. Here we go. It's time for a duo with Mr. A Cold One, the guy I joined Inquisitor Harbor from. Before, with without these arrows, we used to get like 8 or 9 minute kills. Now we're down to 6 minute duos. How do prey potions too? Oh! <gasps> A cold one! Yay! A cold one got the helm! He got an he got the item he wanted too! An inquisitor piece! Fuck oh, yes! 250 points for a cold one! That's one item each. And that's my MVP by the way. And this kill is going to be the 100th kill on the nightmare. We got one loot so far. And that's all we got. 100 nightmare kills! Man look at them! They are all having the Nightmare Staff and I'm here without one. 
120 kill count, still no items since the Inquisitor Helm. We have got an MVP 20 times in a row with this team. I'm doing very well with magic here. Look at me, I'm taking MVP from the double sides. This Fremnik champion got a volatile staff. No way. Jagex have finally decided to nerf the magic with arm staff. So now I'm hitting with three ticks instead of two ticks. This is the first kill with a nerfed Aram staff. Are we getting the MVP? And no, we are not. We still got the MVP. We still managed to get the MVP with the nerfed Aram staff. I'm so happy. Yes. This is going to be kill count 150 at the nightmare. And we still have only gotten one drop. Seen two drops, but gotten one in my name. Oh, we got a new personal best, and it was my MVP, there you go. Doing farming on leagues are so nice. 100 points for that. We got three levels for a 160k XP drop. How much is the magic tree though? How much is the magic tree? 220k XP drop for 72 farming, 100 points. Another magic tree incoming. Another two farming levels. Okay, I need some red spider eggs from Venenatis. And this was super easy, just barraging from distance. And we actually got 100 points from doing that as well. So far, Magic have been 100% the best relic I've picked during their leagues. And I can't believe only 4% picked the Magic Relic. That's pretty insane. Oh, we got the drop we wanted. 500 red spider eggs. This is going to be useful for our super store making for the Nightmare. Beautiful. We can leave this place now. Nah. I, I lost another amulet of the damned. I lost another amulet of the damned. I can't be asked here. We are back to Shura to collect our items. There we go. No amulet of the damned, unfortunately. I'm just upset I lost that kill because I was on the last phase. I spent like 10 minutes inside that cave. We have a total of 14 keys we're gonna open here. Please be lucky this time. Amulet of the Dan, we are done. We're gonna see if we can get any dupes. Another Amulet of the Dan, beautiful. Can we get a third one? Nope, we can't. After dying, I decided to do some more team uh, nightmares and we got the MVP in this team. All right, and this kill is going to be kill count 200. For the last 100 kill count, we have had a majority MVPs, but sadly, we haven't seen any loot since. Uh, the Inquisitor at home. And sadly we didn't get MVP this time. Oh man, look at this man. He has the volatile stuff. Oh no, they both have it. 114 on the totem with the volatile staff. <gasps> no! <gasps> no! No! We actually got the item we wanted! This is the biggest upgrade of them all. Oh my god, we got the Nightmare Staff. <gasps> no! We went dry for this. This is big. This is the exact item I wanted. Now we can get three orbs. We can get three orbs, which provides us different type of content. We can get the Harmonized Orb, the Volatile Orb, which these boys have, and the Eldritch Orb. Oh my god, I'm so- these are my lucky team. I'm so happy we got it. We got it, we can upload this video today! Hell yeah! Magic damage, 7 plus. Nightmare staff, 17 plus. Can we auto- <gasps> We can auto cast brush with this! This is actually big, this is big, huge. We don't even need the Amulet of the Damned anymore. Is this the back to back? Back to back dream? No way. We got back-to-back -back items. What the hell? I was kidding. I was kidding. I didn't even get the MVP. What the hell? I was kidding about the back-to-back -back dream. So, Dirt Eater and Spooky Sid were witnessing the back-to-back -back dream. That's wild. Alright, back-to-back-to-back. The dream. For a volatile orb? Uh, never lucky, man. I don't think you guys realize how happy I am after this episode. We got so many upgrades. Just look at our gear here. Look at our gear. We even got the Jessica plate body. We even got an Abyssal Dagger poison. And a regular one without the poison. 
so many upgrades in this episode and I think you should subscribe right now. And I think you should like this video as well. And before we end, I do have one thing I want to mention. Hello, hello, hello. Before we end, I just want to remind you that the limited edition Sea Engineer Potion Plushie is only available for another 7 days before it's gone forever. The quality is great, the design in my opinion is great as well. And the lid, it's very nice to touch, I must say. And, uh, and of course there's a C in the bottom represents C Engineer. And we're gonna need 400 purchases to be able to send this one out. So make sure to use the link down in the description to purchase yourself one of these and support my channel. And I just want to say thank you everyone for supporting me throughout the leagues. So far it's been two amazing weeks and I can't wait to deliver more videos for you guys. And in a few days we're gonna upload Hunting Hardcore Iron Man in PvP Worlds Part 3. So I can't wait for that. I'll see you guys in a few days.